Hi folks, uh, welcome back to the second episode of Skull Session at Sati. Today we have Mr. Bakhtiar, uh, Minister of Tourism, Art and Culture from Malaysia. Malaysia is embarking on a mega journey in the year 2020 with Visit Malaysia 2020 and let's get some insight. Welcome sir, thank you for coming on board. So, how is Sate been? Well, I think Sate is a very important platform for us. Uh, this year we brought about 40 organizations, airlines, hotel, resort, tourism players and all that. So, uh, it's an important market because uh, India has shown remarkable growth in terms of uh, tourist arrival in Malaysia. So, last year we have uh, about 750,000 uh, from, from India, which is about 25.4% growth. Which is, that's a very high growth. And um, I think we expect to have about 1 million this year. So, uh, that's why we are here. Uh, we know that mar Indian market is very crucial and very important, very key to us uh, to, to meet up with all the uh, agents, uh, with all these uh, the tourism players in, in India in, in one place. So that's a very uh, good platform for us to be here. Yeah. So has Sate 2020 uh, exceeded expectations? Well, I can say that uh, from the response that we we getting uh, compared to other booths, uh, we see that there's a lot of activities going on into our in our pavilion. Uh, that's a good sign. I think I can say that's a good sign, a good good indication. And uh, hopefully, they also uh, by the end of the day, we should be able to finalize a number of uh, deals closed and all that. So, hopefully, uh, there's a lot of strong interest. Uh, uh, from India to Malaysia, I think uh, that's dated back many, many years ago. So we continue to have this cordial relationship uh, with, from India with India and Malaysia. Yep. So uh, visit Malaysia 2020. It's a big campaign. Everybody in Malaysia is excited. I was there last evening, I mean yesterday in Malaysia and everyone I met about is talking about this uh, campaign. Uh, so what are your global plans and what are your plans for India? Yep. I think this uh, Visit Malaysia 2020 is a national mission. That's why everybody is talking about it. So everyone has a role to play and all that. Um, we focus more on the cultural and ecotourism. There's a two main focus. Um, you know, various segments. Uh, we've been getting a lot of uh, uh, inquiries from uh, all over the world. And um, China, Korea, India, uh, of course, our ASEAN countries are a very strong market for us. Uh, we will continue to focus on this market, uh, even though I think the um, uh, European market is also very important to us. Uh, top three, uh, UK, Germany and France, uh, you know, are also our important market. So, uh, all over the world, we have uh, 37 tourism Malaysia office, and they're all uh, working very hard. Uh, with all the industry players and the agents uh, to make sure that we get 30 million uh, tourist arrival uh, in Malaysia. That, that's an ambitious number, that will be a record number for us, but we have to try our best to, to get the number. Yeah. If I'm not wrong, you were able to achieve this number in 2014. 2014 is only 27.4, that's the highest number we have ever achieved. Uh -huh. uh, so. Um, so we, if we achieve 30, we are exit 27.4, that will be a record number. New benchmark being said. Uh, I think uh, it's uh, achievable, uh, you know, given the, the whole, uh, you know, worldwide interest in travelling. As you know, 2018, there are 1.4 billion travellers and by 2030, there will be 1.8 billion travelers and uh, tourism is, uh, is in everyone's mind and now even millennials start to travel you know with all these social media influences so that, that is uh, we, we are seeing a very positive growth and positive trends in, in, in tourism yeah. so, since we touched upon millennials 60 yeah. percent of the global travelers currently are millennials yeah. in uh, 2020 yeah. India outbound travel is projected to hit 50 million out of which 40% are millennials. So what is Tourism Malaysia planning to do or what strategy are employing to engage this audience yeah. and convert them? I think the social media is uh, one of the most important uh, phenomenon uh, in this uh, current uh, situation. I think we, have, we are seeing 
a lot of uh, 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 programs, we have seen a lot of uh, activities that involve uh, social influencers, um, bloggers, and uh, these are the, the, the in thing in uh, social media. Uh, I think we, you can see the you know, uh, 70, 80 percent posting in social media is all about tourism, about travel, about food. You know, that's part of the part of travel. Um, we have a lot of programs in uh, getting all these uh, influencers over. Um, we bring some of the celebrities uh, from India uh, to Malaysia, and after that, we can see the uh, uh, spike uh, in in, uh, in interest in Malaysia. We are monitoring all this uh, interest by uh, from our digital technology. You can see the number of search also increase among the millennials in Malaysia. And I think Malaysia is uh, provide, we have uh, all the, uh, be, uh, the the venues, we have all the the locations for the millennials. And, and um, these millennials, they like to go explore beyond the cities. So we have, uh, you know, uh, Malaysia has all that. Uh, we have uh, diving, we have caving, we have all this, uh, uh, you know, mountain uh, cycling and all that. So that, that's a new, this area, sports and becoming, uh, uh, you know, the millennials, uh, they, they, the millennials, they don't just come for sightseeing. They want to experience, the exper experiential, they want to touch, they want to, uh, you know, experience it. So this is the, the, the in thing in, uh, for the millennial travelers. And uh, we have developed a uh, few apps uh, to cater for the millennials and um, social media again. Very, we are active in Facebook, in Instagram, in Twitter. So we've been getting a lot of uh, interest from uh, millennials uh, yeah, lately. So I think uh, millennials is an important market. Of course, they do not, uh, we, don't, we don't underestimate that they don't spend. In fact, the millennials spend almost the same as uh, normal travelers. So uh, we, we, we're saying that because they are, when, when they are young, uh, 25, 27, they, they, they save the money just for, for traveling. So we, we're seeing that in, uh, among the millennials uh, travelers. Yeah. So my last question uh, for our session is, I'm of, I often travel to Malaysia. Every time I've uh, boarded a Malindo Airlines, Air Asia or Malaysian Airlines, uh, the flights are full. Now, uh, if the existing flights are full, is there additional capacity coming in to get more travelers in? Are you inviting Indian Airlines to fly more into it? If yes, are you giving them uh, tax ops, any initiatives as such? Yeah, I think we have uh, a program called JITDP, a Joint International uh, Tourism Development Program. Uh, there's a fund uh, for the airlines to promote uh, Malaysia. So, uh, and I, I, yeah, as what you said, uh, you know, flights are full and uh, some of the airlines are get, uh, looking at, uh, you know, adding the additional, sometimes it's more on capacity issues and airport issues. And we want to go beyond Kuala Lumpur now. We want uh, direct flight from India to Penang, direct flight to Kota Kinabalu, to Langkawi, uh, to Johor Bahru, because these are all the new destinations. We are asking, um, you know, all these airlines to to also fly to second tier city in India. I think, if I'm not mistaken, uh, Ahmedabad uh, will be next uh, destination for for Asia. So, um, yeah, we have 230 flights a week, and we it's still not enough. I think the if we want to target more one million, we should have to add more flights. And uh, what what are the things that we're lacking here is a charter flight from from India, because uh, uh, so far we do not have any charter flight from India. Uh, but with the mice, events, weddings, we need this uh, charter flight from... Uh, but uh, India charter flights are considered to be a lot more expensive yeah. than any other destination. Yeah, this is something that uh, lacking in India. But uh, that's why we have to uh, complement that with the commercial... Uh, Sops at your end. Yeah. Oh, interesting. And uh, any message for the travel industry and the millennials out there? Uh, yes, uh, Visit Malaysia 2020 is uh, just uh, here and uh, we want uh, Indian to come, uh, you know, visit Malaysia because uh, Malaysia offer a lot of uh, variety. We have beaches, we have uh, mountains, we have, uh, you know, a beautiful forest for lung washing, for, you know, all activities that we have. 
uh, all segments of uh, market, you know, from millennials to uh, luxury travel, um, we have everything. And then um, multi ethnics in Malaysia that provide a beautiful uh, culture, uh, tourism, and of course, uh, Malaysia offer a lot of uh, nice place for uh, eco tourism. You know, we have. Um, some hidden gems that are not been explored yet in Malaysia. Don't just come to Kuala Lumpur or Genting. Go beyond these two destinations. I'm sure you will enjoy uh, Malaysia. Thank you very much for joining us and best wishes for Visit Malaysia 2020 and hopefully see you next year. Welcome.